the storyboard? We do it for a couple reasons. First of all, it's a way to make sure you've thought through what you're going to do before you've done it. Right? It's the whole point of design is that you have an idea, you might have some vague notion in your mind, let's think through exactly what we're going to do before we do it. It's like writing an outline for a paper or an uh, outline for a speech or a flowchart for a program or anything like that. The other reason that we do it is to communicate to someone what we're going to do. Now again, depending on your project, um, you might be communicating to other people on your team. Maybe you're going to design the animated movie and someone else is going to be painting the backgrounds. So your storyboard needs to illustrate that. Maybe you're designing an animation for the business division that talks about the mobile software boom, for example, one of the topics we talked about last week. You may want to show the different instructors in that field what you're planning to do for the animation so they can look at it and say, yeah, I like it. No, I don't. So you plan, you design, number one, to make sure you've thought through the problem, number two, to communicate to other people on the team. So for this class, for most sort of simple animations, the drawings don't have to be elaborate. Don't let the phrase storyboard or sketches or whatever throw you off. All right? It doesn't have to be masterpieces, but it does need to be such that it communicates to me what you're thinking of doing, and it indicates to me that you have thought through uh, the issue. So that's how you, that's one of the ways that you would plan out a animation. In fact, you do the same thing with a video. So for this project, you write a brief explanation of what your basic aim is, and then you'll go in and you'll create a um, storyboard that will explain what it is you're going to do. Now, we do not have Flash in here, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish up this section of the, the lecture. We'll go over to 202, and I'll continue the lecture talking about um, how we can accomplish animation um, using a computer, how we can save a, a lot of time. All right? We'll see you over in 202 in just a minute here.